Hey everyone, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over the three things that we go over on the channel each and every single day. And those three things include all the daily collection sets and their current cycles. We're going to go over all of the daily challenges. And then of course, we're going to go over Madame Nazar's location. But if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Also, let's go ahead and destroy that YouTube algorithm by making sure that other people get helped here in Red Dead Online. And you guys just have to make sure that you guys, leave, before you leave, go ahead and leave a like and make sure that you leave some sort of comment here on the channel. It can be a letter. It can be a number it could be a hey a hi how are you you know what are your plans for the weekend it could be anything that you guys want to be able to strike up some type of conversation and uh, maybe you never know i'll leave a, a heart on it or even reply you just never know but anyway if you guys can do those things for me that would be greatly appreciated but let's go ahead and move on to the fossils uh which are going to be uh, starting off our collection sets for today so we got those are going to be a part of cycle number four we got loss of jewelry also at cycle number four we have the arrowheads at cycle number six family heirlooms at cycle number five and then the coins at cycle number five as well now the next four sets that i'm about to go over you don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them but you do need to be a collector in order to sell them so definitely get that collector bag as soon as you possibly can because honestly if you guys want to make any type of money here in red dead online then uh I guess uh, that's what you want to be able to do because it is the best money-making opportunity in Red Dead Online. And uh, I, I don't know if anything will beat it for quite some time, to be 100% honest. But anyway, uh, we took out the flying stationary bird, I guess. Uh, there was a glitch in the Matrix, apparently. So I guess we're just going to leave it at that. But anyway, um, the other thing that I quickly want to go over is I've had a couple questions on this lately. Is What did, what did the current cycles mean? and whatnot before we go on to the four that we we're going to talk about here in just a minute basically a cycle is just a random number it's basically one through six it's like rolling a dice it's going to be completely random you don't know which set which cycle is going to be on for today and all i'm doing is giving you guys an opportunity to know which one to look for and basically you can just go onto youtube and then type in coins cycle number five and then it's going to give it to you guys or you can check out my channel the only one that is technically incorrect is going to be the american wildflowers because that was changed after i made those videos so that, those are actually going to be wrong maybe at some point i'll consider redoing those but as of right now i'm probably not going to we'll just, we'll just see if i get enough people requesting the change in the american wildflowers then by all means i'll go ahead and change that but american wildflowers there's going to be three sets every single day Cycle number six, tarot cards, cycle number five, antique alcohol bottles, cycle number six, and then the bird eggs at cycle number five. All right, let's go over the list mode of the daily challenges, and then we're going to follow that up with extensive detail here in just a moment. We've got one facial appearance updated at a barber, two ox skin, five mushrooms picked, one petted a dog. We've got three free roam events, uh, player kills with melee weapons and free roam events, one tra train clerk mission completed, and then one time visiting Van Horn. The bounty hunter, two bounties brought in from West Elizabeth posters, three bounty targets brought in, three bounty targets looted. The trader roll, we got Crips' special stew recipe completed, 20 donations to Crips, tw uh, two resupply missions completed. The collector roll, we got three antique alcohol bottles found, three coins found, three collectibles sold to Madame Nazar. And then the moonshine roll, completed special moonshine recipe, drank on strong moonshine, two moonshine bar, dance for two minutes. The naturalist roll, five animal samples sold to Harriet, five animal samples taken within 10 minutes, and then two sedated animals revived. All right, let's go ahead and break these down so you guys can hopefully make a little bit of extra gold here in Red Dead Online. We got something happening over there. So let's go ahead and start with the facial appearance. Um, you just need to go to any one of the barbers, Saint Denis, one in Blackwater. There's also one in Valentine. You go to those locations and just change any of your appearance. It could be if you're a guy, you change your beard. If you're a girl, you can change like your makeup and then just change that. It will cost a little bit of money, but you'll get the gold for it. So you have to determine is the gold more worth it or is the money more worth it? And then you can decide which one you want to keep or if you don't want to do or participate daily challenge. Two ox skin. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a couple different spots that you guys can actually go to in order to get the ox. Um, they're over in the heartlands. So let's go ahead and head on over there. First one is going to be at the Heartland Over Oil Fields at this farm right here, just north of it. Emerald Station or Emerald Ranch right in this area, pretty much just right behind where the fence is located. And then you're going to go down to Maddock Pond at this farm right here. And they'll have, all those places will have cows 
ox and bulls as well so hopefully you can find or get lucky but majority of the time you're mostly just going to find owls right at the bat so you might have to run away or go to the another location to see if you guys can get the ox as far as the mushrooms go we're actually going to stay down here in the new austin area just because well this is where i'm by right now so uh we're gonna try to stay as close to armadillo as possible there are a few more that are a little bit closer but i'm gonna try to do the biggest batch of them that i can here right now for you guys so hopefully that works for you i mean, get to these locations we'll give you more than one mushroom up to four if you guys come over here to well anytime that you guys go after the mushrooms to be 100 percent honest you'll get an opportunity to get up to four at each of these locations there's actually a couple really close to where the um moonshiner mission is actually happening at right now so go ahead and take advantage of that but that should be more than enough for you guys in order to get those five Concerned that you could probably get four in one of these locations by themselves. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. We've got petted a dog. Uh, dogs are located, honestly, throughout the world. You can find typically one down in Tumbleweed. So down over there, right next to the butcher. Uh, there is another one at the fence in the um, Emerald Station area. So over here. You can usually find them. You can usually find dogs in Strawberry. A lot of the major cities will actually have them including your own camp if you purchase your own camp and if you don't have your own camp and you know somebody that has a camp that has a dog that will allow you to be a part of their posse that you can go ahead and pet the dog you can also do that as well you don't have to necessarily pet your own dog all right moving on to the next one we got three player kills with melee weapons in free room events so cold dead hands roller bear and dispatch rider there's a couple other ones that you guys can like uh king of the hill things like that that you can participate in or whatever it's called i don't really do any of these too much anymore to be 100% honest. I actually stay away from the PvP ones. But anything that's a free roam event, free roam event that's considered a free roam event, but not like the condo rig where you're not you're playing against other players, but you're not killing them. You want to play against players that you actually have to kill them and then use melee weapons. One train clerk mission completed. Uh, there's a couple different locations that you guys can actually go ahead and do this at. Number one, you can actually do this down at Benedict Point. There's a train clerk down here. Uh, you can actually find one at um, Emerald Station. So kind of a lot ha happening around the Emerald Station area as well. Uh, right here, you can find a mission. And there you go. Um, those are the, probably the more common ones. I would recommend just going to Emerald Station because you got to go there for a couple other things anyway. Visited Van Horn. Um, if you take the fast travel post right there, spend a little bit of money to do that, then you're going to get that instantly. But otherwise, you can just ride to the city pretty much from Emerald Station. It's not that far away. I think it's only like a dollar, maybe two dollars to fast travel from that point anyway. So pretty relatively easy. Um, let's move on to the daily rule challenges, starting with the bounty hunter. We have two bounties brought in from West Elizabeth poster. So you're looking at Wallace Station, Strawberry, Blackwater. Just complete two of them and you're going to get that one completed. Three bounty targets brought in, so two of them can be from West of Elizabeth and then one from where else. You could do another one from West Elizabeth if you want to. And then make sure that you guys are looting all of the bounty targets prior to bringing them in. And then that will satisfy that last one of looting the three bounty targets. The trader roll. We got one Crips Special Camp Stew recipe completed. Whatever it's requiring you guys to cook at your camp inside of your stew pot, that is what you guys want to be able to do. Sometimes you do have to do a little bit of hunting for specific type of meat, so just be aware of that. And it is usually dependent on where your camp is currently set up at. So everybody's is going to be a little bit different. Sometimes you actually need to go and find some specific herbs, so be prepared to go ahead and do a little bit of herb hunting. Sometimes you need to go to a general store, a stable, or even order stuff from the catalog as well. So I don't know what yours is going to be for today, but if you need help, then leave a comment down below. We got 20 donations to Crips. I like to use anything that's feathers related. So flight feathers or any specific bird feather will work really, really good for this. And if you guys don't have any feathers, Emerald Station area is really good. Like the Heartland Overflow, just basically northwest of the fast travel destination is a Heartland Overflow. You go to that spot, you're going to find ducks and geese and a lot of other birds flying around in that area. Once you kill them, just go ahead and pluck them and you're going to get a lot of feathers of all different types. We've got... Two resupply missions completed. So this will probably take you about an hour to get com totally completed because you have to do a resupply mission and then you have to like let the materials and the resupplies dwindle out. And then you have to participate in the resupply mission, which can take about five to 10 minutes anyway. And then there's that cooldown for another one. And then you have to do it again. And then it should be satisfied at that point. 
The collector roll, we have three antique alcohol bottles found. Antique alcohol bottles will be a part of cycle number six. Coins will be a part of cycle number five. And then you have to sell three coins directly to Madame Nazar. So let's go ahead and go over where Madame Nazar's location is for today. And she's going to be way up north at the most northern point that we have. Barely, but it is the most northern point here in Roanoke Ridge. And you can fast travel to Ansbury if you want to, but otherwise if you're van visiting Van Horn and then you want to make your way north, you can find Madame Naz Nazar right here just north of Ansburg. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the moonshine roll. We have completed special moonshine recipe. So this is going to be Creek Plum, Argarita, or Caribbean Rum. Those are the three that you want to make. And then we got Drink on Strong Moonshine. So once you've completed that special moonshine, you can actually drink it. And then we have two times dance with for two minutes. It's basically holding a button down for four minutes in order for this one to get completed. And then we got the naturalist roll. Five animal samples sold to Harriet. I can be whatever five. You have to get five animal samples within 10 minutes. Again, I like to do this at Emerald Station. So if you don't actually kill the ox and there's none there, then focus on the sheep and the goats and other things that are in that area. And you can get the five animal samples very, very quickly. And then if you ride down to the Logros area, you can sell them pretty quickly. And then you can just ride up to Van Horn. So all three of those, I, I, honestly, I'm probably going to be spending a majority of my time in the Heartlands today just because of all of this going on to be 100%. I'll probably get my mushrooms here and then head up there. We got two sedated animals revived. Of any of the five animals that you sedate today, just go ahead and revive them. It's pretty easy. If you guys have the pamphlet, you can craft your own, or you can buy these directly from Harriet for $5 a piece. Either one will work just fine, and then that will satisfy that requirement. And that's all of everything done, gone over and covered today. We went over Mad Mazar's location. We went over all the different collection sets and their current cycles, and we went over all of the daily challenges. If you guys do need help with anything that we went over in today's episode, by all means, Go ahead and leave a comment down below because I'd love to be able to help you guys out if I possibly can. But if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.